How's it going? I'm Bill in Hollingsworth and I'm the deckhand on the Fishing Frenzy and today I'm going to show you some basic sailor knots that we like to use. <clears throat> Two knots that we really use a lot around here are the bowling and clove hitch and I'll show you how to tie those now. The bowling's my favorite. Anytime you would want a loop, we usually tie a bowling. And how we do that is you take your line and you want to make a small loop. You want to bring the bottom over the top. You want to take your tag in, go through the loop you just made, go around and back through, and then just pull it. And there is your loop. As you can see, it's all neat and clean. The beauty of this is you can pull as hard as you want and it's not going to break. The rope will break before the knot wheel. I mean, you can tow a car with this if you wanted to. I've pulled my buddies out of ditches with these before, no problem. But that's pretty much it. And the beauty of it, as hard as you pull, you can untie it. You just pull that little lever right there and it will come loose. That's probably the three basic rules for knot tying. It should be easy to tie, it shouldn't come untied, and it should be easy to untie. All right, one more time, make your loop through, around, and back through. And there you go. And like I said, you can pull on that thing as hard as you want. And that's the bowling. That's a great knot. It's my favorite. Another knot we tie quite regularly would be the clove hitch. <clears throat> and you would use that if you're trying to tie a line tight around a pylon or a post. And whether it's vertical or horizontal, it's the same way. And how we'll do that is you'll take your post, you want to go over top, and then you're going to come back around. And when you do, you want to cross over just like that. And then this little loop that you got going on, go through it just like that. There it is. It's all neat. It's neat and it's strong. A lot of times, you know, people will throw an extra hitch on the end of it, but you can pull that thing all you want. I mean, a lot of the old timers say a half hitch will hold a bulldozer, so there you have it. I'll do it one more time. A lot of times you'll be tying it on a pylon that'll be vertical, and you'll basically just loop it over this way, and then you'll loop it over this way. There it is. Just like that. And that's the clove hitch. Pretty simple, pretty standard, never fails.